let's look at adding independent random variables again and I want to get at um, a really key point about everything about probability and statistics it, it kind of ties a lot of stuff together and it tends to be counter to people's intuition so it's really important to look at this carefully um, so here's the example we've got a coin flip game just to make, make everything very simple there's only two possible prizes um, heads you win ten dollars tails you win nothing and it's a fair coin 50 50 chance of winning uh, either zero or ten dollars okay and I'm making this as simple as possible because all the essentials still come out in a simple example but everything I say is going to apply to any random variable ever so we can calculate things like the expected value on average what am I well, what prize am I gonna win well most people would tell you on average you're gonna win five bucks and that's exactly right 0 0.5 times 0 plus 0.5 times 10 is five dollars the expected winnings then we can calculate the unpredictability and that's really what's going at going to be interesting here the variability the unpredictableness the variation well the two tr technical ways to do that that we have learned so far are the variance which is the sum of the squared deviations from the mean so that's 0.5 times this deviation squared 0.5 times this deviation squared 25 and the problem is that that's in dollars squared as I've observed, observed before it's kind of a weird unit variance has lots of nice properties um, and we're going to use those in a minute but it's not in a nice unit so standard deviation is defined as just the square root of the variance and that comes out to be five dollars that shouldn't be too shocking standard deviation is the simplest case where it really should give us something like a very intuitive answer if on average I get five bucks but I never actually get five bucks out of the game I either get zero or ten with equal probability well on average how far am I away from my supposed theoretical average winnings of five dollars I'm either five dollars low or five dollars high and so this is, is recording that okay in you usually standard deviation is a more subtle thing you can't sort of point to it and say oh obviously this was the right answer but in the case of two equally probable events the expected value will always be right in the middle and the standard deviation will just be how far either of the actual events are from that middle okay now here's the question I'm really interested in repeating this over and over again and summing up the 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 total prize winnings but here's two, two scenarios scenario one is I play the game 20 times and I report my total winnings Scenario two, you could imagine that maybe I'm lazy and I'm, I was supposed to play it 20 times to report my total winnings. I play only once and I report 20 times my total winnings. So, uh, lazy students out there, this is a warning. This is one of the ways you can interpret this whole video is how your statistics teacher will know if you tried to do scenario two as a replacement for scenario one because it is not the same thing. Okay, we want to look at the difference. So, warm-up question is how do the expected values compare? Here's a random variable, the report of 20, uh, the sum of 20 total games, the total winnings for 20 games. That's a random variable. What's the expected value for that? And what's the expected value of simply playing once and reporting 20 times the total winnings? Okay, well, scenario one is um, we can write it as the expected value of x done once plus x done twice then the second time plus x done the third time plus dot 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 plus x done the twentieth time remember we've got to put these labels on because I've got to remind myself that they were different results of the same identical experiment okay now we're going to assume very crucial to assume well it actually right now it's not that um, crucial for um, for expected value independence actually isn't crucial for the variability for variance and standard deviation it is going to be um, crucial but let's go ahead and say it right now let's assume these games are independent of each other like coin flipping usually should be okay so the great thing about expected value um, is that it's just additive if on average in each game I win five bucks on average if I play it 20 times it should just be the expected winnings from that first game plus the expected winnings from the second game plus this is gonna lose me here uh, that's not going to be good. Plus dot 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 plus expected winnings from the 20th game. Okay. And what is that going to be? It's just going to be 20 times the $5. So $100. I expect to win five, $100. Okay. So because expected value is just additive and all these guys are $5, I get, I'm expecting to get $100. Now that doesn't guarantee I will get $100 exactly, but that's the expected value. Okay, now what about the expected value of scenario number two? 
Okay. Um, I probably don't want the same box here. Okay. Scenario number two. That's the expected value of I just do x once and I multiply it by 20. Well, there's a nice simple rule for expected values, which is that I scale it up. If on average I was about to win to report five dollars, and then I remember, oh wait, no, I'm trying to fake it. I'm supposed to inflate that by a factor of 20. Then on average, what I am going to report is going to be inflated by 20, and so I get five dollars. And so that's a hundred dollars. Oops. Okay. So expected values are behaving very simply. These guys do give the same answer. Okay. But here's the real interesting question: Which number has more variation? this report of 20 actual times playing the game or just playing once and 20 times that one number which number has more variation and so we're, what we're going to do to make that precise is which of these var random variables has a bigger standard deviation but just low tech think about it for a second pause the video if you want which do you think is more unpredictable or has more spread this number so I play the game 20 times, what's what's that going to be? And we're playing only once and reporting 20 times. Um, and when I did this in class, um, most people, almost everybody thought this was more unpredictable, or sorry, this was more unpredictable. Okay. And I think it might be because um, it's, they're remembering that if you have 20 different events, that is going to be more unpredictable than one event. This definitely is going to have a larger standard deviation than the five dollars for one event. But is it really going to have a larger standard deviation than the 20 times inflated standard deviation you would get by multiplying playing once and reporting 20 times or and um, and then multiplying by 20 okay And let's look at let's look at what the um, the algebra tells us and then we're going to run a simulation to hopefully convince you um, of what's going on okay so, the algebra is fairly simple. It says the oops, wrong sigma. The standard deviation of x1 plus x2 plus dot 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 plus x20. That was the real thing where I really played it 20 different times. That's the Pythagoras rule. And you get the square root of the sum of these numbers. 